Put on. Oh boy, here's you, know, you know that's so funny because we actually the, the four guys in the band we kind of argue about that because yeah. when we put makeup on for some reason Gene always takes the longest. I mean, it'll take him two and a half hours, and he's been doing this. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know. But the thing is, I always thought that the spaceman is more intricate, more lines, and I'd say. That takes more time. Well, Gene right. just argued with you the other day and said, no, mine takes more. And actually, Gene, it's funny because Gene's been putting the makeup on since day one, right? Almost 40 years. But yet, I'm giving him makeup tips on how to do stuff easier and faster. He's like, oh, really? Oh, that's... So it's kind of funny. But uh, we help each other and we do talk about it. But we all think that ours is, it takes the most work, of course. But really, Paul, we do know Paul's is the easiest. Yeah, yeah. a star. Yeah. Yeah. He's got one eye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right here, just in front of Eric. What's your name, sweetheart? I'm Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Um, what's the craziest thing an audience member has ever done during the show? <laughs> what's the craziest what? The craziest thing an audience member has ever done during a concert. Gotten thrown out. Uh, well, I saw, a, I, saw a, I know there's kids here, but I saw a fans having sex during the show once. Uh, I'm being honest, that was crazy. Wow. There was a guy in the, in, near the front row that had a prosthetic leg. He took his leg off during the show, I swear to God, and handed it up on stage and said, can you guys sign my leg? Oh. <laughs> that was pretty wild. All right, right over here, uh, just to a little to the right of you, Eric, uh, this girl here, what's your name? Catherine. I'm Catherine. Um, how long have y'all been in the band? How long? Actually, I started working with Paul and his solo band in 1989, 22 years ago. Wow. But I, um, I started, uh, the first time I worked with Kiss, I've worked with them on and off for 20 years since I did the Revenge record, which was 20 years ago now. Tommy's, Tommy's been in the band almost 10 years now himself, but he's, Tommy's also worked with the band. Play, you know, we, Tommy and I both worked with them before we were in the band. We both did demos. I played with Paul's solo band. T Paul, Tommy wrote with them. Gene produced Tommy's bands. We've had an association with the guys, each of us, over 20 years. All right, just a little back from where we were. What's your name, sweetheart? Britain. And what's your question? When you were kids, did you dress up like kids? No. Oh. For Halloween. I actually did. When I was about 13, 14, I put kiss makeup on for Halloween. Woo! Woo! Which, which, which one do you think? <laughs> I got a little early practice on that one. You know, I gotta say, and, and I know Tommy's gonna think I'm being cheesy and corny for saying this, but I call Tommy the Cinderella Kid because the movie Rockstar was about basically you know, Ripper Owens, the singer that became the singer of Judas Priest. Right. Tommy really is that story. He's loved Kiss from the time they came out, dressed like that for Halloween, and ended up being in bands, having a record deal. Gene produced his band, a couple of records. Then he ends up doing a tribute band just for fun with some of his other buddies. Next thing you know, he's working for the band, and now he's in the band. I mean, it really is. It's, a, it's, one of, it's a really special story. They can make a movie about it. It's great. I always think it's one of the coolest stories. All right. Dead center. Dead center right here. What's your name, man? Uh, Alan Sosi. Go ahead, Al. Um, when you guys are on the Kiss Cruise, are you going to do the unplugged part with no makeup on? That's what I'm told. Nice. So I think I think the first day, the first day I think we're going to do the unplugged acoustic, you know, kind of like MTV unplugged. Yeah. And no makeup. On the deck of the ship as we, as we leave the port, we're supposed to play like a Bon Voyage kind of unplugged concert, sans makeup, like MTV Unplugged, same thing, yeah. Then, because of the size of the audience, the, the venue only holds so many people, so we're going to have to play two concerts the next two nights. We'll play full makeup with all the cool old stuff that you want to hear. All right, I think we should take maybe two more questions, because I know these guys are going to get up here pretty soon, and they're going to rock, rock your world here. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're coming up over to the front of the stage here on Tommy's side. I see a little guy here who's got a question with his got, head here. Get this little girl here in the front with the cool glasses. All right, you're next. Here we go. Okay, little girl with the cool glasses, what's your name? Trinity. And what's your question? What made you guys want to start a band? What made us want to start a band? Tommy? Yeah, I mean, we just love rock and roll music, so, you know, it's just like everybody else that plays, want to play the guitar, you know, you, 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 you want to get together with your friends at home, and that's what we did, just like everybody else, you know, you start a band just to have fun and go play, you know, at a club or in a 
the garage or the school dance or something. So that's what you know. That's where you start. You just have a good time doing it because you love doing it. I, I mean, I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan like a, so many other people, and my mother said I always. I don't remember why, when I wanted to start playing drums. I just always remember I loved drums and wanted to do it. My mom said when I was really little, you know, I would bang on the pots and pans with spoons and stuff. And um, I just remember, I was like every other kid. I went, I would put posters on my walls and listen to music all the time and said, oh, that's what I want to do, you know? And I, the funny thing is I remember going and seeing Kiss one of the first, on their first tours. And I remember being on the, right at the front stage and uh, it was a, a theater, and I had to stand on a chair because I was really little. And I remember standing on the chair, leaning on the stage like this, and I was hitting Ace Frehley's boots. And I was like 15 years old. So, I mean, I, re I know what it's like to be that kid that wants to be up there doing that. And that's what makes you strive for trying to do it. You know? We all start off the same place. You know, I started off picking up a pair of sticks just like anybody else. Where we all end up might be a little bit different, but we start the same way with a dream, you know? No. All right, what's your name, man?